Hi right, guys, um, just want to talk about equality uh, with MGTOW. One of the things I want to say about equality is I'm a strong believer in it. The big problem a lot of people have is my version of equality actually is equality. Um, and one of the things I do recommend is being exactly the same. <laughs> in all honesty, people tell me they're all for equality, they're all for this, all for that. And it often involves them being selective. Um, for example, I hear about equality and diversity when I'm working with local authorities or whatever, but it's actually giving more benefit to groups, whether it's religious, cultural or whatever, giving them an advantage over others. This also happens in what they class as deprived areas where they'll actually get bigger budgets than somewhere that actually has an area that isn't full of animals, you know, in the sense of they actually go to school and stuff. Pumping these areas through m with money has never fixed anything. Ever. I mean, you look at the developments from the 60s, 50s and 60s, these concrete jungles they pumped full of money um, without a lot of thought. They didn't fix anything. They become drug dens. They become a hellhole of misery for the people living there. And I don't think I've ever heard anybody actually getting blamed for the stuff they did. And this is one of the things I want to bring up. One of the big problems you get with this is it's driven from the social aspects. And it, I will focus mainly on the UK today because I do, just want to focus on this. Um, that these ideas come from socialism. These come from the Labour Party. These come from Labour governments, etc. Generally, I don't see it from Conservative governments. Conservative governments aren't that way inclined. Although they say we're dealing with this, doing all that, generally they try to avoid doing anything. A lot of this stuff seems to come from people believing they know better than the people that are actually involved. And as such, they mess it up. And one of the problems you get in the UK with a zero blame culture and zero responsibility, that even now look at the Labour Party when it talks about um, anything the Conservatives do, they always go, where are they going to find the money? Didn't I bother the Labour Party when they destroyed the UK economy and basically run the whole country into the ground by emptying the cash like no tomorrow until there's nothing left? No, that's fine. Gordon Brown selling all the uh, gold and silver off cheap, that's fine. Short-term memory, it's a fantastic thing. Um, but this is one of the problems we have today is that because there is no accountability, no responsibility, um, people do not take any responsibility for the things they do. But on the other side of this, when people demand that they're entitled to this, want this, want that, and it's coming at the cost of other people, at no point do they even think about who's paying for it and where that money's coming from. All it is is about what's in it for me. And that pretty much sums up socialism for me, but it's also where a lot of the problems are in society today. That the, the lack of responsibility is actually dismantling everything. Equality is non-existent. Equality is a selective process depending who is saying it. It's like when the ship's going down and say men, uh, children and women first. Well, now equality first. Equality first. <laughs> you can't be selective. Oh yeah, but the... No, there is no yeah, but... Everybody's got their own entitlement to live. Who can be selective on the, who lives and who doesn't? Um, and I know that sounds like an extreme one, but at the same time, you see it everywhere. You see it when you'll get people that are strong with feminist groups and say how they're all for equality and women's rights, yet it can't be equality if you're just put, concentrating all your charitable work and everything else on women's rights. Because you've already selectively decided that everyone else is not as important. And I have no problem with somebody supporting women's rights, but at the same time, you cannot then sit there and only support women's rights and not get involved in anti-drug rehabilitation for everybody or whatever. But they often do. The people that often do this stuff are very, very selective 
and out on the outer rims of these various groups. And it's one thing that I do recognize more and more these days, and I do recommend taking a look at it yourself. When you get these people actually demanding this and that, look into them. Investigate what they do, how their life supports everything they want, but at the same time, they couldn't give a damn about anybody else. In fact, you are very likely, or without a doubt, more equal and laid back and less argumentative than they are. Because they demand this stuff. You're just going about your life as normal. Thanks for watching.